Thank you for tuning in. I'm Corinne. If you are one of my returning subscribers and you are wondering where I've been, I have a link in the description box to a blog post just for you. For everyone else, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into these vegan taquitos. They're delicious. So I'm getting started here making some corn tortillas and I have some masa harina here, some water. You can of course use vegetable stock or any type of broth that you like. And I added a little bit of salt and that was it. Some people add fat, but water and masa harina is more than enough. I have here some parchment papers. As you can see, I've cut into a circle and I use them as a template to make a more round and accurate corn tortilla. And so to these, I'm just going to put them in a saute pan that is on about medium heat. And I'm just gonna cook them very lightly on each side. Once those are ready and set aside, here I'm making some really quick pico de gallo. So as you can see here, it's very straightforward. I have some fresh tomatoes, fresh onions, a bit of cilantro, and some jalapeno. That was a splash of olive oil. Here's some lime juice. And a little bit of salt, and this is ready to go. Here I have some fresh Haas avocados. I'm just going to dice these up, season them, and it's sort of like a chunky guacamole. For the meat or the filling of the taquitos, I have here some portobello mushrooms. The spices are liquid smoke, a bit of vegan beef bouillon, some garlic cloves, a bunch of aromatics. Be sure to check the recipe that I have also linked in the description box below. So I took that spice mix and I blended it into a puree. And here I am cooking down the mushrooms and some red bell peppers so as you can see here for the filling I have that mushroom as well as a bit of vegan cheese and some more cilantro and these do not taste like mushroom I get a lot of questions about whether the mushrooms that I use in the recipes actually taste like mushrooms when you season them with the bouillon as well as the other spices and aromatics it does not taste like mushrooms now with portobello mushrooms you do have to season them well to make sure that it doesn't have any of that flavor of a portobello mushroom something like this you can't taste the flavor of the portobello mushroom so long as you let it cook in the spice mix long enough but as for the king oyster mushrooms and the button mushrooms you can easily mask those flavors so as you can see here, stuff, roll, pan, sear, kind of get them crispy and they're ready to go. Here I have some vegan sour cream, the pico de gallo, and that chunky guacamole. And here I'm just going to start to plate the taquitos. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have a lineup of really awesome videos. Be sure to leave a comment in the, just in the comment section below for any recipe ideas, any recipes you want to see, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Before you leave, make sure you go over and check out my Instagram account and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I would love to see your food pictures, so make sure you tag me in any of your vegan food pictures and check out some of my other videos. I have a couple linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and I will see you next time.